Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mercus and today we are playing more 7 Days to Die. So, it started. To begin with, I'm just going to go and actually take a look at this while we're looting here. And I'm just going to see if it actually respawned here. That's fine, okay. Oh, hello. Land because my helicopter was out of fuel, so... Oh, oh, oh. Check that. Okay. Uh, so, last episode, of course, we did a bunch of looting. We can turn the main town here and. Uh, at least not sure which ones, but uh, two fire stations, the nightclub, a. Random house, we looked at a little shamway thing over here, and also a like uh, funeral thingy. And in fact, I'm actually going to continue doing that in this episode as well. We're going to go and go back and look at a couple more buildings. I'm actually, sure which ones, but yeah. uh, in between episodes, though, I actually did I did actually go and clear loot all the POIs, at least almost. I did, like, didn't get time for this one and didn't get time for the nightclub, but. Uh, of those two, I did actually go and clear a little of them. Also, a bunch of base building as well. But, yeah. but it's a big one there. Let's actually go and do a bit of a trading run because uh, the traders have reset. And uh, well, currently, we're only missing a single one of the art of mining. Number two. Thank you, sir. I don't know Okay. My family and I are in your debt. Here is your reward. Two. Mods and running material. Nothing. Tools and traps, nothing. Clothing, nothing. Science. Stuff. Ammo weapons, nothing. Okay. So, secret stash, what do you have? First page, nothing. Second page, nothing. Plus, six shelter cell. Yeah, but no books. That's what's about this. Okay. Thanks, anyways. Um. Let's take a look at the wind machine. Actually, once we realized that, um, you know, I bought this like the candy, st candy stuff, but I haven't actually used it. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Uh, oh, there's a dropper. Right. Go and head over to Shredder and I'll be back. Okay, so I can trade off today. Holy shit, I thought you were a zombie. This is at least. Um, oh wow, you have a lot of squags. That's southeast of her? I think so. Off more random. Okay. Weapons. Just ammo. I guess that's more use useful than like useless weapons though. No tools apparently. Okay, clothing. Hmm. So, secret stash. Even more books. Okay, you sell a lot of skill books, unfortunately, all of them I actually need. So far, at least. Even more skill books. Okay, so unfortunately, once again, not the stuff I actually want. You sell 13 books. Okay, well, something might be double, not quite sure, but uh, yeah. Any stuff here though? Okay. I'm not gonna start using those, even though I did actually clear a little couple of stuff. But this is just. Uh... Yep, let's turn to the harvest again, okay, nice. So, next trader. I think I can want to head into the. Well, let's... Hmm. Just so far away is the thing. I nah, will go under like. No. One thing as well is that they actually go and build or spec this stuff into some kill points. And under free as well. So, uh. It was intellect, no. Fortitude. So, I got uh, healing factor, I got intolerance maxed out. I like to think I'm gonna bother with this actually because it just gives me more like insulation stuff and honestly 
not really see a reason for that because I don't really get them regardless. Ability. Um, I need to get this up to like max level though, that's the thing. So Intel is currently 10 out of 10. Um, this stuff is the actual like gyrocopter parts. I don't really care that much about that. I also got advanced engineering, which is less. Uh, uh, crafting forged steel and electrical devices costs 35% 35, 35 less, which is amazing. Oh, actually, so all forged recipes cost 20% less. Because among that's like the most expensive thing we're currently producing. Uh, so I'm trying to get like the strength to max level. Which I can actually do now, I just need another point to like use it though. Perception also made of that. So at this moment, I got pretty much every single like stat maxed out, with the exception of the last stuff. So. Let's do this. Max uh, strength. I guess I might as well just keep the accuracy I already used though, because uh, I mean, I guess there's nothing like else to do, right? Then it's not. I think. But right, it's a bad Dana, but I mean. Yeah, okay. Size. Okay, then. Into scary zone. I can wanna land. Perfect landing. Plus, I actually would have been at the trader in the city here, though. So, if you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Yes, now I'm a weapons, a uh, bunch of resources. I may like start buying resources. We'll see. That's so much money. Here's the way here. Right. Nothing here. Okay, secret stash. Okay, couple mods here. Grab the mod. I don't think I need a schematic for that, actually. Sorry, okay. but I've never heard of a stim pack. I head into the other wasteland system. Dinner. And I can check if also a beer here. Hope there's not. Hello, Rex. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? Yeah, a uh, bunch of armor plating. Really cool. That's a lot of food. Okay. Uh, once again, no armor. Tools. Okay. This uh, bucket. Okay. Secret stash. Hmm. Basic enough. Okay. There we go. Oh, Sweet. Gawking at goods, and that's all you buy. Nice. Okay. This is actually huge. So we know actually maxed out. The art of mud. Do this have like a yellow thing to it before? Like a green thing? I, I can't remember. So what I think this does is this ha means we have a 20% chance to one shot any ore. And that's actually huge because of what that basically means, of course, is that, you know, when we're actually out fighting with the ogre, like every one of those basically has the ability to perhaps, like, uh, you know, a fifth of a chance to. One to like be a one shot. 
If my math is correct on that, which is probably not, but I don't think this thing is, I think that should double the mining speed. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, that can now means that we have reached the highest mining speed available in the game. Uh, which is kind of nice, although the question of course now is do I actually feel it's too slow still? I actually feel that might be a possibility, but I don't see. Anyways, I'm actually going to go get prepared here and we'll go and do a bit more looting. Not actually gonna lie, uh, at this point I kinda lost my the overview of uh, which buildings I've looted and not actually. Which of course why I have to continue doing player looting because uh oh they're freaking Yeah, because basically like this one I know I don't know like you know which ones I've looted not. Still like couple ones in this place. Uh, is this an actual room? Yeah, so this building here is what we're talking about. So the ones we looted. Not completely cleared out. Looted the fire station here as well. I I'm not I'm done with the items yet, but uh damn it. No of course it's completely cleared out. It's nice. Yeah. Uh don't think I went to this place, so let's just you know do that. Now, let's actually talk a bit about sort of going forward a bit here. So, uh, this is actually the last episode before the Horde Night. So, next day, day 76, I'm going to go down south and do a bunch of sand mining, get another maybe 100,000 sand. We'll see. Uh, and then. First day, not first day, uh, 77. I'm first going to spend on uh, like repairing the hard base. Oh, hello. Wait, are you? Oh, you're supposed to like drop down here, I suppose. Okay. Um, not cool. Yeah, so we're going to repair the horde base, and of course, you know, in the night of day 77, we're of course going to go and fight the horde, as usual. Um, but, next week though, what are we going to do next week? I think I'm going to go and spend the entire week on base building. Something we've talked about a very long time now. Uh, I've gotten to this point right now where the kitchen area... So, uh, like, what's like the stats on the kitchen? Because I'd like to talk about it. Uh, it's actually giving me quite a lot of trouble. I don't really now, like, the exact like, details and stuff on how I actually want to, like, have it be. So, I've had to, like, redo it probably twice by now. Because I didn't like think about what to do. I also did a bit of a mistake. Whoa, you were fast. Okay. I guess like their speed actually does matter because uh yeah, that was a red active one. Like flew off. But yeah, so I was actually messed up one point as well, so I had to like Get on a bunch of stuff and like a bunch of things and uh, the mine line went to bunch of concrete, which also was not fun. Uh, I didn't actually grab the loot stuff. Maybe I should have learned nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose the shocking messiah box crates, I guess. But okay, let's actually go and loot it properly though. Oh, some more properly. Yeah, so like, uh, it's giving me a bit of trouble. Uh, I finally, so I've, 
I finally fig like finished the entire like canteen area. And I got more or less like the entire sort of like kitchen area figured out as well. Uh so that's basically that. That at this point I can start like putting in like stairs or uh benches and things. If I want to. Not sure exactly sure like what type of uh, furniture and stuff I want to. We're gonna figure that out, but yeah. Um I also like start working on a couple other things as well. Uh, I also worked quite a lot on the storage room actually, because I kinda got tired of working in the kitchen, so I started working on the storage room as well. And I finished the tunnel, so I'll I'll do sort of like a episode like after all, which will be like what I've done essentially. And also the next week I will spend an entire week on base building. I will be I will definitely like have multi-day episodes though. Or you would like me placing concrete for hundred for ten hours. <laughs> so, yeah. That's basically that. Uh, yeah, so search room. I started working on like the second section. We got uh, two of those like rooms essentially built now. One for components and the other one for, for materials. At this point, I can actually start using it even, which I think I actually would like to start doing. We'll see. Uh, and then that's that. I also finished the tunnel between the storage room and the crafting room. That is not all complete, although I don't like to have no concrete, so at the moment it's still just rebar most of it. I got the floor up with the concrete, but uh, like the walls and stuff is still just rebar because I don't. Uh, well, I thought I didn't like to have enough. It turns out I did like to have enough, but. I did actually go make one amazing discovery though, and that's the fact that uh, you can actually make concrete stairs. So up until now I've used the uh, iron stairs. Uh, but you can actually use concrete, so I actually started changing that. Which is a bit annoying because that means of course I had to like uh, mine up a bunch of iron stairs, but yeah. Hey, found two beakers in the one. Yeah, that's actually it, so let's just go back up and uh, Again, the goal for like, uh, the goal for day 100, which is gonna be when I'm gonna make this or make the second uh, world tour video. Is to actually have uh, the entire storage room in use. I'm gonna like take the entire like, yeah, uh, the sort of like the middle or the, the place of base of work for the, or use as a work. Up for now. I'm gonna go and like uh, completely get rid of all the like chests and stuff which is in there. Ooh, okay. No, it's a reflex side mod. Uh, I actually, I can make those, but I need like so many of them, so it's just nice stuff. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Reinforced chest. What do we get? Yeah, level six leather goes level five steel boots uh shotgun tube extender mod i think that's good if i'm mistaken yeah, okay. nice. i'm gonna uh, clear it off camera a little bit okay yeah, I'm actually struggling a bit there because like all the stuff around here is still looted. We've got the garage apparently. Uh I think this build of this building is also looted. That's like on the quest. This one is clear looted. A little bit looted. No, that's not clear looted. That one is looted. Um, 
Well, actually, I don't think this one is. Okay, yeah, I'm already this. Okay. I know that one is. Okay. Uh, we also, of course, got this little uh, place here as well. Uh, I'm missing the good loot from here. Okay, so let's just go and like check it. I've looted this place, I'm like, I haven't like played it, or I've looted completely at. Nothing's okay. And the reason for that is because basically down here would be a way out, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, damn this. Careful. No, there's a zombie bear. Should pump like you know 150 bullets. In it. Eighty-nine rotting flesh. That's not bad. That one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, I've been considering actually to like go into the wasteland and build zombie bears for uh push bear. Oh, it's actually only food there. Really? So Okay, you apparently have to go for a zombie bear to get some food. That food of course would be nice when I uh struggle for food. In like feeling about it. Up in here, right? Actually, let's lose these I get more challenges too. Like one day, just like you know, like an episode, maybe just like do often, or at least like you know, just, uh, press montage, I suppose. Challenge month. So, the plan or like the goal I have for episode 100 or the day 100, well, sure, is that the, the main base should at that point be fully functioning. So, I want. Um, I want, uh, I want the search room to be com like completed and in use. I want like uh, like the traffic stuff to be finished. That stuff. I want the the living quarters. The kitchen should be finished. I also want the medic bay finished. I think at least like the shell of it complete, and then like I want just more progress on it. And I kind of also want to like begin working on the, the bunker and stuff. I will be having a bunker similar to the one we had or started making this in uh, Alpha 16. Which is basically just like a, you know, Really like defending them in your place. Like all the electrical traps you can imagine and stuff. So. Yeah. 
those two should be completed. Uh, and then maybe like a couple other random stuff as well. Be completed. And once I complete it, like at least I won't like put the shell of it dug out. Like I don't like know if I necessarily care about like get all the concrete stuff in place, but at least I won't need the shell of it complete. And we probably have to do a bit more work on the main base as well, or the horde base as well, I suppose. So again, I don't really know like exactly what that's gonna be. At this point, the only thing we can do about it is uh, put more like or put more uh, install uh, guards on it. And then working stiff crates. Honestly, like working stiff crates have been a bit lackluster actually. I wanna say. Like you're supposed to even get like rebar frames and stuff from them, and I haven't gotten like a single one. Like because that alone would be just nice to get because like they're a bit of a pain to craft. Okay, more bad armor mod. No, I think I actually got maxed out of that, right? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to think there's any mods we need at this point. Okay, that's just building here then looted. Uh, I might have forgotten like. Some things like the might be like things behind paint, paintings and stuff, but then that stuff I basically catch up when I like catch when I do the clear looting. That comes a real challenge though, and that is to find another PY to loot. So I think I have to farm on here. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's like a two like building shells out there as well. So, uh, and those are just like, you know, add loot. The looting. Another thing as well, in terms of videos going forward, uh, I said actually I wanted to like get back in track again, and I realized that this episode was supposed to come up yesterday, and looking at the time right now, it won't actually be up. Today, first thing, so I guess we'll get more fun instead. In terms of time it takes to make one episode at this point, it takes about two hours to record them. Or at least like two hours of play time. Uh, although, of course, like for, uh, before recording this episode, I did actually have to do a bit more work on. Like, like the end of last episode and uh, then it takes about probably an extra maybe half an hour to sort of like get started and of recording so probably two and a half hours recording and about then um, one and a half hours to edit it render it and upload it Exactly, quick process, although, like, most of it is automated, though. So, yeah. uh, the problem I currently got though is the rendering or the grinding videos actually take like seven hours sometimes to render and edit. So, that's basically why the absence of those have been a bit of a problem. I currently have like uh, footage for 10 of them. Sort of. So, yeah. 
so in terms of basic like going up to eastern stuff, uh, I will be gone in this. Which uh, means I can't, at least I don't think I can record videos. I'm gonna try a couple things. I do have a second PC I like to grab with me. I also have a laptop, so I might be able to record, we'll see. I'm sure if it actually can like render stuff though. Uh, but the big thing though is like I'm gonna try to pre-record a bunch of episodes. The thing for Spadama is though if I do the multi-day episodes, that's gonna take two hours to get each one. So yeah, that's also the reason I actually want to do mostly like base building because it's a bit more easier to recording those when I can just sit like an hour and a half hours straight just uh, off camera. So. Holy, that's a lot of parts, okay. Uh, handgun parts and shotgun parts is something we need hundreds of this point. Because uh, I do force, at this point I pre I'm pretty sure I do actually need auto turrets for the main base. I also gonna need auto turrets for the bunker. So, you know, that's bad. Lastly, the reinforced chest. Uh, ooh, okay. Level 6 type rifle. That's amazing. That's the last piece of. Uh, oh. Apart from the insult, that's like. The, this is the second last piece I kind of want and the last piece I need. Nice. Okay, so we're actually going to put another. First of all, see, ammo can't. 13, okay. We're actually going to go and put another uh, mod on this. So there's the bipod mod. Also, of course, a uh, like a larger magazine, perhaps. Yeah, I know. 